Hey everybody, Max Kevin here. It's the Little Cutie Podcast. It's... It's... It's not too long, so anyway, I uh, woke up at 6 a.m. today. I don't know what time you guys woke up. I went to 6 a.m. today. I was uh, I had to help mommy. I had to help my mommy with the food truck. I don't know if your moms are unemployed or retired or, you know, or, uh, you know. If your mom's just a dumb whore, you know, it's a prostitute on the street or whatever, but my mom has a food truck, you know, and uh, I had to help her with it today, you know, she didn't have any, her normal employees were like sick or whatever, or just fucking lazy, you know, and uh, so I had to help her out with that, you know, so I got I, I get up at 6 a.m., you know, and uh, that was pretty early, huh, 6 a.m., I was like, I was like, oh my god, it's early, man. I woke up at 4.30, actually, you know, and then I couldn't go back to sleep because I was, like, worried about waking up. That was awesome. That was cool. That was great. So I slept, like, you know, I don't know, four or five hours last night. Not not too much. You know, so I was pretty tired this morning. You know? And we go over there to the uh, to the uh, food truck consignment center, you know. We're setting up the truck for, like, an hour or two. Then, uh, then we head over to the place, you know. Head over to the little, it's like a little charter school. They're doing like a little fundraiser event or whatever. I don't know what the hell they're doing, but, uh, you know. There was no place to park. You know, they forgot to, they forgot to corner off some spots for us. And some, some people were parked or like where we were supposed to park. So this lady came over. She had a baby, you know, she was organizing the thing. She was also holding a baby. I was like, hey, what are you doing? You can't just be raising a kid and organizing events, right? You need to pick one, okay? Can't just have a baby. What do you do? You have a baby. You put that baby down, all right? Move some of those cars. So anyway, we uh, eventually worked that out, you know. And as we're setting up, this little fat kid comes over, like to the open door. He's like, he's like, how much are this shave ice? We're like, ah, oh, it's five bucks. And he's like, I like your, I like your truck. And I was like, oh, thanks, man. I like. He's like standing by the entrance. He's like talking about his day and i was like yeah hey kid i gotta get back to work now so uh why don't you uh go find your parents wallet you know why don't you get away from me you know anyway uh that kid he came back later right he came back like two hours later he's like he's like how much is the shave ice i was like five bucks he's like he's like i don't have any money (laughs) my mom's like well how are you going to get a shave ice then? He's like, do you think I could just get a little spoon of shave ice? My mom's like, yeah, all right. So she just like gives him a spoonful and he puts some syrup on it. The, the fat kid, he just like eats that. And then I see him like walking around and then he comes back and he just like puts more syrup on the spoon. This kid was just drinking our syrup. This little unsupervised fat kid is drinking our syrup over here. It's like, where's this kid's parents? What's going on here? These damn charter schools, man. What's going on? We got no parents? You got these unsupervised fat kids drinking all the syrup? What's going on here? Come on. This is why we have public schools, you know? So those unsupervised fat kids don't steal everybody's syrup. Then, uh, you know, there was a lot of morbidly obese customers, too. We didn't have too many customers, you know? We had uh, A lot of them were morbidly obese, you know? And one of them, uh, one lady, when she came up and she's like, She's like, is, is the veggie burger, is that, is that vegan? And my mom's like, oh, no, it has egg white in it. She's like, oh, that's too bad, you know, because I'm a vegan. She was also morbidly obese, you know. That just got me thinking, it's like, well, why are you, why are you vegan? You know, why do you, how do you, how do you be, how can you be morbidly obese and vegan at the same time? I mean, I, I know it's possible, but. I mean, most people I know that are vegans, you know, they do it, c- like, for health reasons or whatever, you know? And, I don't know. It's like, maybe just stop stop eating the sugar, you know? Maybe you should try the carnivore diet like I'm doing, okay? I lost a lot of weight. I don't have any fat on my body anymore, you know? I'm in prime condition just eating meat. You know, pound a half of meat. Eat some cows, right? Stop drinking that sugar. Stop being a vegan. Right? What are you doing? You need some B vitamins, you know? Anyway, uh, yeah, we did that for a few hours, and, uh, let's see, what else, you know, then we finally, it was finally over, and, uh, we went back, cleaned out the truck, you know, and, uh, we got a, 
all the other, all the other truck all the other food truck people are also coming back at the same time. They're all washing out their trucks at the wash station. So it's pretty crowded. You know, we got the last spot at the wash station. My mom's like driving in there. She like runs over this cardboard box. And thank God it was just some trash in there. But <laughs> hopefully it wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't anybody's tools or anything, you know. Like I, she runs over the box. And like I walk over to it to see like what the damage is, you know. And like this Mexican lady's like washing her truck. I'm like, oh, sorry, is this trash? And she's like, see, sí, see, sí. and then she starts speaking Spanish. And I'm like, well, come on, I just said, I just asked you if this is trash, you know? I spoke English, you know? You can, I know you know how to say yes, you know? I didn't say basuda. I didn't say, er, es, estas, but esta, es, es, I don't know, es basuda. Es basuda, no, no, es basuda. I don't, I don't know how to speak Spanish, you know, but, uh, Ay, ay, mi caliente, mis pantalones, and stand in la biblioteca. You know, I didn't say anything like that, you know. But uh, she was like, "Si, sí, si." Sí. I was like, "Come on, you, you obviously understood the word trash, you know? Don't pretend like you don't speak English. Okay, this is America, all right? It's America. What are you doing here? You know, you start a business, you start a food truck over here in America, all right? You're making American dollars, all right? All least you can do is learn the word yes, you know. I mean, come on, I speak three languages over here. You just speak only, only Spanish. Come on." a little more effort you know uh you know so anyway we uh we cleaned out the uh truck there you know and uh then we headed home we finally we headed home you know so it was a long day for me i didn't get home till like 5 30 so it was like 11 and a half hour day and uh yeah we actually lost money we didn't uh we didn't make enough profit to actually cover our costs so that was pretty good you know we worked for 11 and a half hours and we made uh negative money so I don't know if you guys are uh, thinking about going into the uh, food truck business, but it's pretty lucrative. You know, it's pretty, uh, you can lose a lot of money, I guess. If you, you know, you could do that or you could buy Bitcoin. I mean, either way, Bitcoin, you don't have to work 11 and a half hours a day. You don't have to wake up at 6 a.m. You know, you can lose those anytime, anytime you want. But, uh, you know, I had a great day today. Just working, working all day for negative money. That was pretty, that was pretty fun, you know, so maybe gonna do this again on sunday you know my mom she, she needs more help on sunday if she can't find anybody and uh you know of course that's the NFL, last nfl playoff game i mean uh, i kind of want to watch that with my friends but you know i guess i gotta go i gotta go out and help my mom lose some more money for 12 hours again i think i'm looking forward to that you know so but uh, yeah anyway uh i guess that was that was my day today you know i'm pretty tired right now because i only had a few hours of sleep so i think i'm gonna go to betty boopers pretty early today all right you guys have a good night. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow.